Hey, welcome to my channel guys. I'm sorry it's been a little while since I've put a video up. So today I want to talk about letting go, what letting go is to me and what it isn't and how when we really, really want something and we're looking for the outcome all of the time, we push it further away. Um, if you've never looked at other videos online, uh, there's a lot of them called the backwards law. And it's, you know, if you're not into this, you're not into the law of attraction, you might have come across the backwards law and read it and, and looked at a video on it and thought, oh yeah, that's the way life is. Because whether you believe in the law of attraction or not, it is still a fact that the more that we want something and we chase that outcome, the further away from us it seems to get. Now that is not including taking action. Taking action is completely different than, than constantly observing the outcome or looking for, the, looking for a particular outcome while still observing the outcome that is now because that's the vibration that we get stuck in and that's what clinging onto something for dear life is and that is what pushes that whatever it is that we want further away. Letting go, what is letting go to me? Letting go is not forgetting about that thing that you really, really want, because how can you do that? You can't do that, it's absolutely impossible. Letting go to me is letting go of the need to control it, letting go of the need to try and bring it into my life, because when I've done something in order to do that, I don't need to do anything else. Letting go is handing it over to whatever I believe that this greater power is. When I do that, I just talk to reality. I say, here you go, reality, over to you. That's pretty much all I say. Sometimes I might say, God, I'm not religious, I don't do in that sense I just like the God within and all of that sometimes I might say universe it depends how I feel but mostly I will just say here you go reality because I know that reality is shifting in order for me to experience that it will shift in some pos in some way in order for me to get what I want or it will bend whatever way you want to look at it I don't know but that's what it feels like to me so that is me letting go that doesn't mean that I don't have to think about I can't think about that anymore that desire because I still do think about it because it's natural and I live in my head a lot so there's no way that I can't not think about stuff I do but I know there's nothing else that I can do in order to bring it to me can I just also say that letting go is not just stopping techniques okay I've stopped techniques so I've let go that has nothing really to do with it what letting go is is that feeling of release that feeling of I can't do anything else it's, it's over to something else now if you are still having the same feelings and still feeling stuck no it doesn't matter if you stop every technique under the sun if you're still feeling stuck stuck is what you'll be so it's that that you've got to look at that underlying vibration of still being stuck in the present moment in this 3d that you don't want to carry on seeing it's that that you want to try and lose so I say try you don't need to try to lose it just hand it over to something else knowing that it's being dealt with with and knowing that the bridge of incidents is not under your control it will come to you in sometimes bizarre ways that you would never have imagined the thing that I always do is just say in the best possible way for all concerned because that just makes me feel better do that and then hopefully you don't want anybody else to get hurt in the process of that thing coming to you but letting go is not just stopping techniques um, it's good to stop techniques if you've been absolutely hammering them for a long time and you're seeing no results it's good to do that as your first stop so you stop doing that and then you you just sort of keep handing it over if you need to do that a few times that's absolutely fine but wait for that little bit of relief that you get if you were to finish a chore like finish the washing up stacking the dishwasher, making the bed, anything that you find a chore that when you get to the end of, you feel a great sense of relief, that's what you're looking for, that feeling. And if you can get that, it doesn't matter if you do it a few times, it really doesn't matter, but you will get to a point where you would have feel, feel that you've done that enough, and that is your detaching. It doesn't have to be 100%, 50% will do. That is you detaching from the outcome to a point where you are letting something else deal with it, because knowing that you can't do anything now, your job is done, that's it that's letting go. And I know the term is not the best term in the world, but just say it, you're, you're allowing or you're handing it over to whatever you think this is. You're just handing it over. Your part is done. You're handing it over to the next person on the production line. You're, if you try to do that job, then you won't know what you're doing and you'll put it together all wrong and whatever it is that you're designing to put out there will be all wrong. <laughs> Somebody will be buying something that doesn't work properly. So that's not your job. So why is it that when you really want something and you're looking for that outcome, it keeps moving further away? It feels like it's moving further away. It's because you are focusing on, you want a particular outcome, you can see what's going on now and you have this conflict going on. So you're more feeling what's going on now than what you want. Um, so, But if you then look at the action that you can take in order to get to that outcome and make a decision that you are just going to enjoy 
Enjoy the action that you're taking because you know that eventually it will lead to the outcome you want, but you don't know when. So you take some action, just enjoy that. Don't look for the outcome. That's when you get the outcome. When you're not looking for it, it's the observer effect, you know? When you look away, that's when you give it the chance to come in. But if you're constantly taking some action, feeling good, and then looking for the outcome, you don't wanna do that either. What you really want to try and train yourself to do is to just purely focus on the action and feel good about the action and just accept that at some point that outcome will be there for you, but you don't know when it's going to come and try to see this as a chapter you're in until you get to the next chapter or just try to see it as a bit of fun, like a fun game. Try to turn it around, change your perspective on it so that it's not a chore, that you're constantly hammering at something in order to get the outcome that you want. Just try change it from a chore to a little bit of fun. Because look at it this way, what have you got to lose? Look what you believe is going on here and I believe is going on and I 100% believe is going on. How awesome is that, that we can change reality, we can experience a different reality if we just allow ourselves to. When we didn't know about this, so some people will say that they wish they didn't know about this because things are harder now and I get that, but it's because you're trying too hard, you start trying and you stop enjoying life all of the other stuff about life. But if you rein it in and say, hang on a second, I'm just gonna go back to how I was before. Live my life how I was living it before, just knowing that there is some crazy stuff going on here and I can alter the course of my reality just by knowing that that's possible. Feeling it, feeling the desire for it, maybe feeling like I have it on and off for a bit and then just handing it over to whatever else this is. And that's all that I need to do. Where does persistence come in? Now, you see, I don't really believe persistence does come in. I think that persistence comes in uh, and people might might persist for a few months and then they get that reality that they want because they're not clinging on to it. But really, they get it when they're detached enough. They could have done that for two weeks and still got the desired result, but they may have done it for four months and got that result and think that it's because they persevered for four months. In my opinion, and I'm sure loads of you will agree, but in my opinion, I've never had to do anything for very long. In fact, I've never wanted to. So when I have done, really tried to persist at things, I've built up resistance and it hasn't happened. So I've stepped back and I don't do it for very long at all. And sometimes I've manifested huge things with just doing something for a couple of days. So it's never be, it's, I don't think it's a longevity thing. I personally think it's the allowing that brings it to us. So that might take, two weeks or it might take six months and if it takes six months it's because at the end of that six months when it does come to you you've allowed it you've detached to a point enough for it to come in but if you had been doing it for a couple of weeks and detached enough then it would come in then so that is my considered opinion given my own experience that it's not a persistence thing it isn't. I mean, if you feel that persistence, you feel that you need that persistence and that works for you, that's fine, but it isn't necessary. It hasn't been necessary for me and I don't persist at anything because as soon as I start persisting, I will notice that I don't have it and I don't want that feeling, so I don't do it and I haven't had to. And sometimes things have come to me really super quick and sometimes they've taken a bit longer. Sometimes they've gone a bit of a curveball. I've been thrown a bit of a curveball and it's turned out slightly different, but better than I would have imagined. And back in the day when I was doing this, I'm persisting and stuff, when I'd get bits of stuff, it would be so far off of what I really wanted that it just wasn't working out for me. So I don't think persistence is key. I know that a ton of people will disagree with me, but this is just my opinion and my take on it. And I can only ever give you an opinion on my own experience. Okay, that's it, my video today. I'm sorry, it looks as if I haven't made much of an effort today, and I haven't. <laughs> I've been really ill over the weekend, so I really wanted to get a video out, so I do look a little bit hanging, um, but there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, then I would love for you to do that. Uh, I write books, I'm an author, I've got four books out there at the moment. My most popular remains, Get Back With Your Ex, and that's great. Just continues to sell on and on and on, which is brilliant. And my son has a law of attraction channel, which is listed below, all specific person. And I have a members area on my website. What that is really, it's a coaching tool. So it allows you to get some one-to-one -one email coaching from me and there's extras in there. I think that's the best way for me to describe it these days because I know a lot of people use it and they don't ever come to me for email support. And I want you to be able to do that because 
really that's what it was because I was answering so many emails and it got really, really crazy and my time was being taken up and I wasn't making any money from it that I wanted to be able to offer you guys that at a really cheap price so that I would make something and it wouldn't cost you a fortune. I could give you proper support. So that's what it is. It's an email support tool, tool really. And so you can come to me with whatever your issue is, whatever you're trying to manifest, and I will help you in the best way I can. That's what it is, but there's extras in there. So there are tons of modules in there, about 160 almost now, all split into um, categories. There is a members hub where you can ask members questions and ask for advice and support. It's a bit like a Facebook page, that kind of thing. And what else? There's an Ask Evie section on every single module. So if you if you do start working through them or pick out the ones that are relevant to you and you need some help, you just fill in that form and it comes straight off to me. Or you can just email me and we just have some email support going on. For as long as you are a member, you will get that support and it's £5 a month. I also offer Zoom coaching. I'm crazy booked up, but I do have a little cancellation here and there. I will be more flexible when I move into my new office, which is going to happen the middle of June, July, uh, June the 14th to be precise. So I will be much more flexible of the days that I can do and the times that I can do then. But at the moment, it's sort of, come to me and I'll give you some dates and if they work for you then brilliant and if they don't you just go onto a waiting list.